Joy Reid. She was on MSNBC. Don Lemon was on. Um, and she asked him about his faith. I want you to hear what okay. he said yeah. right now. Do, do you consider your self religious or spiritual and will we learn that in this book spiritual i don't consider myself religious uh like many people who are as you said not affirmed by the church you know i chose not to go to the church why would i want to go and and be part of something um that demonizes me that says that i'm an abomination right that's what the church believes but i don't believe that's what the scripture says and that's not the god that i serve so i'm not an active church goer right now joy but i am certainly a christian and i certainly do unto others as I would have them do unto me, which is really the golden rule. That's how I treat people. And I think if other people, you know, developed that sort of relationship with their faith and with their God, we would all be much better. So it's about digging in, treating people the way you want to be treated, and actually being accepting of people instead of pushing people away. I call Jesus in this book um, the biggest s-h-i-t stir of them all and that is the image that i choose to see in myself that i am a big shit stirrer i love you oh you didn't want to blink that out? <laughs> i just totally <laughs> forgot he said that oh. <laughs> I, I felt it come i was like did i no i didn't i sure didn't um <laughs> remind me <laughs> when i deliver these shows uh anyway uh so so just copy paste everything we just said from the last um topic right yeah because he didn't bring up what his thing was so we don't have to but it doesn't matter the point is if okay this is the slight difference this is a slight difference what if somebody doesn't believe that their sin is a sin how do you convince somebody who doesn't believe their sin is a sin that there's something wrong. Why are you making me a counselor today? Like, <laughs> how, how do I convince somebody that their sin? This is a normal question. It's not a normal question. It is. Not for me, it isn't. Jerry, how do you convince somebody <laughs> that go. doesn't believe their <laughs> sin is a sin that there's something wrong? Because this is not a situation where it's only fans and it's kind of like obvious, okay, this is probably not the best thing. I mean, I'm sorry, Jerry, to cut you off. But to go back to what he said was, he said, I don't believe the Bible is telling me that. That's not what scripture says. That's scripture what I'm saying. Absolutely says but that. But he doesn't believe that. But then he There's, doesn't believe I, the Bible. I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you 100 percent There are people who do not believe that. They they believe they're Christians. Mm -hmm. They do not believe that the Bible says that what they're doing is wrong in their heart. Now, whether they convince themselves of that or not, they do not believe it. They're not doing something they know is wrong and just saying, who cares? They don't believe it's wrong. What do you oh, say right, to somebody right, right. like that? Are you saying they don't read that it's wrong? No, they, or they don't, don't believe, they don't believe that it's it wrong. says okay. that it's wrong. They believe there's other explanations for what's there. They believe you believe it says it's wrong. They do not agree with you that it says it's wrong. Am I saying that right? Ah. <sighs> Jerry, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> too much of a headache. Going on. Yeah, that's a tough one, man. Um, so I guess it's more like if you love doing something, can you stop doing it? You know? All right, here we go. I'll put myself out there. Okay. Um, <laughs> I got a problem with mob movies. Okay, Jesus. All right, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> got a problem with mob movies. Okay. Um, All right. Uh, you know, I remember somebody calling us a devil. Um, saying that we were demonic and that you know we shouldn't call ourselves Christians, and you know me, I got to do a little dig digging. So I went to his YouTube channel, and his first like couple of whatever's like um, I'm a mob movie. Why uh, did you go to his YouTube? Channel? Of course, to you find know. Dirt? I, yes, I had I had to find out who's that's calling me a devil, that's right? <laughs> um, uh, and he had called our wives devils too. It was the episode when our wives were like. Um, Christian men aren't sexy or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying so top five reasons Christian men are still single. There I, you go. I had, to, I, had to, I had to pull Ryan and Jeremiah back. They were hot. Yeah, it was. I, you know, <laughs> they were wife like that. hot. Yeah, yeah. But so here's the thing, though. So I go to his page, and the first thing he's like, he's listing off is Scarface is my favorite movie. And da, 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 da. I was like, bro, why are you throwing stones? Anyway, so that's my issue, right? I like mob movies. And um, I had a friend. Oh, I have a I have a friend who was like at some point he was like yo we got to get away from anything that's PG anything that's not PG thirteen exactly what you're talking about huh 
I know who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I talked to this friend like two weeks ago, and I was like, <laughs> you watch Rated R movies again? He's like, yeah, what are you talking about? I was like, it threw me off completely. Because I thought this in, for the last 20 years, I've been trying to model myself to get to the point where I was away from these Rated R his, movies. His current status has nothing to do with that. It's about what you believe God is telling <laughs> you to do. It doesn't matter what so-and-so is doing. I don't feel a conviction when I watch these mob movies. Okay. I don't want to glorify that life i don't want to mimic that life i don't want any parts of that life mm. but i enjoy it as entertainment okay that's just the truth that's <laughs> okay. just the truth and so <laughs> yeah i'm sure a a pastor uh would walk in here and say to me hey you know watching these mob movies is a sin and i'd be like mm, okay so then i gotta go to prayer and i gotta ask god i like, got this is something you don't want me seeing. This is a gateway for my family. This is some type of portal to demonic forces entering my home. Then, no, I need you to convict me of that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and that's where that's where I have to leave that. I'm sure the chat's killing me right Crispy now. Crispy put up, pray for Ryan Rice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, please. Please do. I mean, I'm not the only one on the team, though. I'm just not going to put anybody else on blast. Um, so, yeah, that's my thing. So, like, oh, if it's like that, but if it's in the Bible and it says, you know, claim, like it says, you know, and lovers of mob mo- movies right. yeah. will not inherit the kingdom of God. Okay. Yeah. Chucking yeah. it to the side. Done. Yeah. So it's a wrap. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, when you see Leviticus and you see Romans talking about these scriptures mm-hmm. um, about homosexuality, then you, you can't, you can't go back and be like, yo, it doesn't exist. Well, they, well, they do and they, 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 they have. And that's crazy to me. Yeah. I'm That's just crazy. Tell, I'm just telling you. To, I'm just telling you what's going on. I'm not saying what well, it I is think, about. I think they, they I do think their, they have. their love for the lifestyle keeps them from wanting to see the truth of that. And and I'm w- truth in it. I believe a lot of us do that. I think there's things that we know is wrong that we make excuses for because we want to do it. Mm. Now, what do you do about that as a Christian? So uh, some people say, "Hey, that's not our job. That's the Holy Spirit's job." Exactly. So for somebody like Don Lemon. What do I do? Do I fuss at Don Lemon or do I pray that the Holy Spirit convicts Don Lemon? So his whole issue. So he's backwards in a lot of ways because he's like, why would I want to go to a church that that believes my lifestyle is an abomination? Mm -hmm. Well, that's where you got to. So first of all, that's where you got to check where your beliefs are. Right. Um, Well, I can't say that because then I I can hear the comments coming at me right now about that. Because if I say. If I say the church is right on all things, then everybody's going to have a problem with that. I'm not saying the church is right on all things. I'm just saying that that's a good foundation to start. You know, if you are looking for fellowship, if you're looking for correction um, and a lot of the things that you're doing, if you're looking for a voice to to help you overcome these things, then that's a good place to start. But if you don't want to go to the church, that means you don't want to hear the truth. Maybe. Or you think they're lying. These people aren't what I've been convinced of mm. is people the people are not lying. They really believe this. They've seen the same scriptures you have and I've had long conversations. They're reading the exact same scriptures and they're like that's not what that means. That's not what this means. Right. This really means this over here. Mm-hmm. That's that means that this was really about this and this. They believe it. They believe it. What do you say? Melody said even if you don't feel convicted, just knowing it's against the word should be enough to stop. It doesn't have to be the that explicit. The word tells us murder and illegal living is wrong. And that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Melody, I agree with you. They don't believe it's wrong. They look at the same scriptures and they've convinced or someone has convinced them that it doesn't mean what it says. It means something else. What do you do with that? Mm-hmm. And do we do that? Do we open the Bible where it says, don't do this and this, and we make excuses? Oh, it's not, it's, it's, it's not our culture. Uh, that's, that's something that applied to them over there. Like, I, think, I think a lot of us make excuses like that. I think, I think a lot of people do that with the Old Testament. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but if you're a believer and you know that Christ overcame all those different things that the Old Testament law tells us that we must do, then... You you know you have you have other issues. Yeah, I just I just think like I think the truest statement is for somebody who has decided that this is not wrong. Yeah, they believe this is not wrong. Yeah, I don't think I don't know of a way to convince them out of that. That has to be the Holy Spirit. 
I can't yeah. I can't talk my way into you because it, it matters to you. Like you're invested in the yeah. answer. This is not just some neutral topic or should women wear pants? I don't care if they can or can't. You know what I mean? <laughs> but w- this the answer to this impacts his life. Like his life would have to dramatically change if he realized that he's wrong about this, right? So the only person that could do that is the Holy Spirit. The, the yeah. God would have to turn his heart the, the way he turned right. Pharaoh's heart. Like mm-hmm. you're wrong about this. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think for a lot of us we deal with that um it's hard to say, right? Because when you're submitted to Christ, you you look around and you're like, oh, I, you feel like everything you do is right. Like, I tell you, the, the best time that I feel like I'm in the will of God is when I'm reading my word. Because I'm like, my mind and my heart are turned toward the Lord in this situation. I can't be doing anything wrong mm-hmm. right now. Like right, that's when I feel the most. Kind of, oh, yeah, yeah. How am I doing anything wrong right now? I'm, I'm reading the Word of God. I'm in praise so and worship. You're I'm mixed, in. You're wearing mixed fibers, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But this, but this is what happens. I've been in conversations yeah. where it's like, but, but look at what you're doing. Look at what you're doing. You're yeah. not following this thing. That verse is in the Old Testament, but you don't follow this thing over here in the Old Testament. That says this, but yeah, but this was really about such and such. It didn't say this and this. You know what I mean, like, yeah, they, they give really me that believe conversation it. Conversation about my meat intake. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> all I'm saying is, is that. I've 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 been exhausted trying to argue my way into someone understanding this. I just you have to pray because there's only one person that is right or is wrong that has the power to make somebody realize they're right or wrong. It's not me. Yeah, but if you ever flip the script to see how hard that must be when I mean and I and I no, I'm not giving anybody an excuse but you flip the script right and somebody is telling you that it's wrong to be heterosexual mm-hmm. and you're like I, I've, I've written a whole spoken word piece about this oh good yeah. which one is it I did it at Chick-fil-A Expressions okay at church one day um, and it was called um, if gay was straight and straight was gay like if you were told if, if the bible said being straight is a sin and he wanted you yeah. like it said you are supposed to be gay yeah how would you handle that information that's a slightly a different topic because that's about how much are you willing to die to yourself to follow god's word because that's what we're asking mm-hmm. them to do mm-hmm. right but you also realize too like that's a that's a um consuming thought and that's going to consume your entire day if you woke up tomorrow and found out if somebody told you that being heterosexual is wrong it was a sin yeah it was a sin that's going to You'd consume be like, your you, entire you, day you you're gonna be that, like yeah. yes you, i mean yes yeah that was then you're gonna be like i gotta move out of my house with my wife yeah, and yeah, i yeah. gotta you know what i'm saying like that would that you, would be you would fight tr- for that person to be wrong like yeah. i would have to convince yeah. you of that because that's yeah. that's like and yeah. and also it doesn't mean that you have to just because that's wrong doesn't mean you have to go the other direction you could just be by yourself like yeah. that's also an option but that's also devastating to a lot of people right oh yeah so it's 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 for people who believe, yeah. believe, believe, yeah, yeah. it's a it's a it's a life altering thing you're telling them. If they believe, they believe. I I don't think everybody in the chat believes that they believe that they believe. Yeah. I think they, I think a lot of people believe that they're lying to themselves or they know it's wrong and they're just yeah. trying to make excuses, which is a question. valid valid interpretation. If you had never gotten married, mm-hmm. would you be okay right now? Would I be okay right now? I'm sure that it would be a big thought in my mind. It would probably be like a big like. Me too. When God, when, why, why aren't you doing this for me type thing? Yeah, I feel like becoming a husband and becoming a father has taken so much of my heart. Mm -hmm. I've given so much of my heart to it that I feel like I wouldn't be okay. Like I feel like I would be one of those people that um, would be really confused about a lot of things. I, I really do. And I can't say that I can't say that money wouldn't be an issue for me. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel like early on, people who got to money at an early age dealt with that being um, part of their part of the reasons why they made bad decisions. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, I just again, if you have people in your life that this is this is a topic of discussion, you I mean, it really has to be the Holy Spirit. I mean, I, I've tried to. I've tried the convincing and the pleading and the the arguing and the, when somebody is like they believe that they believe that they believe it's yeah. like all right man I, I I that has to be something supernatural that takes you out of that 
It's not going to be your wittiness or your your aggressiveness and your wordplay that's going to get them to to sure. change that. You know what I mean? Right, right. 